Today we're gonna talk about how to brew an American Pale Ale. So let's go ahead and get started. Recipe again, it is going to be six pounds of Breeze Golden Light Dry Malt Extract. We have three quarter pounds Caramel Malt 40 Lovey Bond, one quarter pound Caramel Malt 60 Lovey Bond, one quarter pound Carapels or Dextrin Malt. We have 9.9 .9 AAUs Columbus Pellet Hops, 4.6 AAU Centennial Pellet Hops, 4.6 AAU Centennial Pellet Hops, and one ounce of Golding's Whole Hops for dry hopping. We're gonna be using White Yeast American Ale, which is the 1272, and Irish Moss. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab two gallons of water and add to our pot. That's it. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna take our pot and bring it up to a temperature of 160 degrees. Okay, in the meantime, I'm gonna start preparing my sanitizer solution. And looks like we still have a little bit to go, so let's go ahead and prepare our grains. Tie it shut with a knot. Once the temperature reaches 160 degrees, we're going to go ahead and turn our stove setting down to low just to maintain the temperature. Then I'm going to place the grain bag into the water slowly and try to keep all the grain husks within the bag. So we're gonna go ahead and stir the grains just slightly without disturbing the grain bag. Just move the water around. And we're gonna do this for about 25 minutes. Since I'm gonna be boiling four gallons of water, I'm gonna go ahead and start to boil, or not boil, but bring two more gallons of water to a temperature of 160 degrees, which I'm gonna use to rinse off the grains. We've been steaming for 25 minutes. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the grain bag out of the wort and we're gonna start adding some of the hot water that we started boiling earlier and use it to rinse off the grain bags. Okay, time to get rid of these grains and add our DME. Now we're gonna place our lid on and try and bring this to a boil. Okay, meanwhile, I'm gonna go prepare my hops just so I can dunk them in when my wort starts to boil. Okay, now that the boil started, the lid is gonna come off and it's gonna stay off for the remaining of the boil. Now, since I'm boiling four gallons of wort here, I'm gonna go ahead and wait a couple of minutes just to make sure that I can maintain a slow rolling boil before I go ahead and add in my hops. Okay, now that the boil is somewhat stable, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my timer because I have horrible, horrible memory. We're gonna do this for about 16 minutes and we're gonna start adding our hops. Okay, so our 60 minute bittering hops are going in. There we go. Start our timer. Okay, it's almost time to add our five minute hops, so we're gonna go ahead and get those ready. Throw in our five minute hops and Irish moss. Okay, now it's time to get our ice bath ready. Now, a little tip. When you put your ice, you wanna grab about a dash of salt and then just throw that into the ice. Get that water ready. Now we're gonna be adding our last set of pops and bringing our pot and cooling it down. Now that we turn off our heat, we're gonna add our last set of pops. 
Zero minutes. Flame out. There we go. Got that. We're gonna steer it just a little bit. Bring our lid and we're gonna cool this down. So about 20 minutes into it, we're gonna check our temperature. So I'm just gonna drop in that thermometer in there. We are right around 65 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and take our thermometer out of here, put it aside for now. And it's time to aerate the work. Oh, this is heavy. Ah. Get our bucket, which has been sanitizing this entire time. And we're gonna pour everything in here. There we go. Now what I like to do is top it off with water. There we go. And we're gonna do back and forth a couple times here. Now would be a good time to get a sample for your gravity reading. So we'll just go ahead and get about half a cup be good enough. It looks like we are at 156, which is right about where we want it to be. That means we are ready to pitch our yeast. Okay, now we're gonna get our starter out. And we're gonna decant the beer, just like that. So now we've got just a yeast slurry. Now we're gonna go ahead and pour that in there. Now, we just gotta put our lid on here and we're gonna shake the bucket. So, okay. The last tip, we gotta get our airlock ready. Fill it up right about to the fill line. Right there. Then, drop that in. Seal it up. Just insert that right there. And we are good to go. So now we're gonna just put our thermometer in there and keep that fermenting right around 68 to 66 degrees. Okay, I have to admit, I'm not the most patient guy, but I actually made it all 14 days without touching this bad boy. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to dry hop our beer. Okay, so you can grab a bag, a nylon bag to pour your hops in or you can just do as I'm gonna do, which is to get all your hops and just throw them in by themselves into your carboy. There we go. Now we're just gonna wait for all this to transfer and we're gonna put it back into our fridge here and leave it sitting for another week and then we're just gonna bottle and we'll be good to go. So, it's been about seven days the beer has been dry hopping now. We are on to the last step which is to prime and bottle our beer. Very simple, what we're gonna do is we're gonna carbonate this. We're gonna use about 4.2 ounces of corn sugar and the process is the same. We just pour the sugar into a cup, we top it off with water, put it in the microwave for about two minutes or you can also boil off some water and then pour the sugar in there and let the water cool down to about 80 degrees. That way you don't kill off any of the yeast and the bottle still, and the beer still carbonates. And once we're done with that, we're gonna bottle the beer, store it for two weeks. Obviously, this is American Pale, so the longer it sits, it's probably gonna be a little bit better, but I'm gonna be very anxious to try one two weeks from today. So I'm just gonna grab one two weeks from today and kind of see how, where it goes. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you next time.